Isabel says, in my role as a marketing analyst, I've been using Microsoft Forms to gather customer feedback. The challenge I'm facing is in efficiently analyzing the data collected. I need to create detailed reports and extract meaningful insights from the responses. What are the best methods or tools for importing data from Microsoft Forms into other analysis tools like Excel or Power BI? Also, are there any advanced features within Forms or associated Microsoft services that can aid in data analysis and reporting? I think we answered this one yesterday. We um, had another question. We had another a one. Similar one. Okay. Okay. Is Power yeah. BI will uh, Power BI will take that uh, take a Microsoft form directly. Power yeah. BI they'll take any data source, and that's just a standard text in a uh, data source. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't know why you just don't bring it into there. There's no intermediary that you that you need. Well, um, it depends on what you're trying to to do because I'm often extracting information from forms and putting it into Excel and then trying to make some sense or put it into some charting or things that I can utilize and bring into PowerPoint for senior leadership. And it's something that I've brought up with the forms team because sometimes the the way that it will spit out the results into Excel will sometimes not make it easy to be able to, unless you're doing your 3D kind of, you know, getting into Power BI, um, it can be a little challenging or maybe they don't even have the Power BI skill set. Um, like I don't have a massive, I would say I don't have a massive amount of skill set in the Power BI. So for me, if I'm stuck with using Excel or, you know, focused on that, then I, I can have some real challenges off the back of it without, without a doubt, because sometimes the way it spits it out isn't as easy as you think. Yeah, and, and I'd say that it's, it's a local file and when you try to download that from, from forms. Um, so you would Undrive. have to constantly download it and then, you know, and it replicates and connect again, it again. In, mm. yeah, into Power BI. So you're better off using Power Automate and use a flow that you can say, hey, I want to take the data that's coming in from this form and put it into, you know, this cloud file. And then that cloud file can either connect to Excel or can connect to Power BI to, to build your visualizations in your dashboards or your reports. Uh, another option could be to use some tools like Power Query. Like you're saying, Chris, Kirsty, like sometimes it's not in the best format for what you need and there might be a lot of cleanup that you have to do and kind of reorganizing <laughs> and taking away what you don't need so mm -hmm. so there might be some other things that you could use in that process too to be able to say i don't need this column and this column and i want to rearrange these and i want to filter it this way or yeah it also it really does also come down to what are the type of questions you're asking because it'll give you those results that it gives you in the back end then makes a real difference to be able to help you around analysis. If you've got things that are a ton of words and it becomes mm -hmm. a bit more subjective and it's hard to pull the information and it's hard to, so that could be challenging. It'd be interesting with Copilot going, give me what are the standard keywords maybe out of mm -hmm. this, you know, result for this column. We'll see what happens off the back of that. But um, the type of questions you ask make a huge difference to what you get spitting out and how you ask it. So think about yeah. that too when you first create. And I think there's a lot of things that you could do in Power BI too with just the natural language questions that you could ask of that data. And I would be interested too, like you're saying, to see where Copilot might be able to go with that in Power BI to, mm -hmm. you don't have to think of the mm -hmm. questions that you're asking. It can just maybe, you know, go and look based on that, that keyword or phrase. Yeah, I remember back in the day being an analyst. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a while ago. I was an analyst at a large uh, telco and having to trawl through data and using other systems, you know, some pretty older uh, systems to 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 do full analysis and 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 it used to be very much a lot of it was a very manual process. A lot of the things, you know, what are the standard keywords? We've come a long way since mm -hmm. then, a long way. <laughs> That's my background as well. But on the tools on the uh, on the IT services side. I provided, um, so I actually deployed business objects, SaaS, uh, yeah. uh, you, know, uh, you know, data strategy, just a bunch of these front end solutions. So I wasn't doing the analysis of it, but I, you know, I, I, I had a thought too. We talked a lot uh, you know, about you know, yesterday about adoption resources around there. I'm not as familiar with what's out there, but I have to believe that for Power Platform, there's a lot of adoption resources and Power BI and guidance on best practices to go and get started, that mm -hmm. there's plenty of content out there on how to get started and 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 how to get the most out of the platform, certainly. Um, but then again, it goes back to Kirsty, what you said, it depends on what you're trying to do, yeah, what absolutely. the goals are for the yeah. data. Yeah. 
So yeah. uh, there's there's a dashboard and a day events that are free. You can just search for those online. And those are excellent. Some some of them are online, some of them are in person to get familiar, more familiar with what Power BI is capable of. Uh, and I believe you can even download the content if you want to kind of run through that a little bit on your own and do some learning. That's a great resource for the Power BI part of it. Mm -hmm.